Fede Alvarez has managed to do the impossible, guys. I absolutely love this movie. This movie is incredible. It's insane. And it might actually be the most divisive movie in the entire franchise. And the reason why I say that is because of the third act. The third act just swings for the fences. It's absolutely insane. It's crazy. It will be the most talked about moment when it comes to discussing this movie. I don't know how I feel about it. You know, watching it, it was like, this is insane, you know. But what I love here, what Fede did is the fact that he just, he just went for it, you know. Giving you something that stays true. To the originals, but yet feels so different. Look, this movie takes place right between Alien and Aliens, you know, but it just feels unique, you know. Some people might say that he's pulling a lot from those movies. I mean, obviously, if you're a fan of the classics, you're always going to pull from that. But what I love, what he managed to do in this movie is just put his own spin on it, you know. It feels like an Alien movie, but it feels like a Fede Alvarez movie. This is like Don't Breathe in Space. He definitely drew a lot of inspiration from that. And that's the first thing that caught my eye. Look, guys, this is this is the alien movie that I wanted. Honestly speaking, you know, when I'm thinking back, when I look at Prometheus and Alien Covenant, although I love those movies. Look, I love those movies. This is this just feels like the alien movie that I actually wanted. After Alien and Aliens. And it delivers, you know, all the ingredients that you love. It's it's the perfect blend between those two movies. And that is the best compliment that I can give this movie. You know, I think he actually went in with that idea. Look, it's an interquel, which sounds crazy. But the fact that he drew inspiration from both of those movies is incredible. The horror aspect intact. Then you have the action sequences intact. And then just, you know, doing something a little different. It just, it's brilliant. And, you know, whatever people are going to say about this movie, this is one that you have to watch for yourself, especially that third act. I'm going to talk about the third act, guys, the deeper we go into the review. There are going to be spoilers, so I'm just giving you a heads up now. If you haven't watched the movie... I'm just going to be talking about everything, guys, and let's dive in. Okay, look, guys, the plot is pretty simple. I mean, when it comes to the alien movies, you already know what's happening. You know, there's a group of people. They go to a spaceship that they're not supposed to travel to because something spooky is going on, you know, but they do it anyway. But this time around, it focuses on Rain, played by Kaylee Spaney, and Basically, there's an android with her that acts like a sibling, you know, they're pretty close. His name is Andy. Now, they get pulled into this plot by, you know, a group of weirdos. Okay, there's one guy that's a weirdo, and that guy is annoying because he hates androids. Now, they come up with this plot, you know what, let's go up to the space station, you know. We want to do cryo, and all the things we need might actually be on this ship, Let's check it out. At first, Rain is like, you know what, this is not a good idea. But eventually she's like, you know what, I want to change my loving circumstances. Because at the beginning of the movie, she goes into this lady and, you know, there's a certain amount of points that you need to accumulate, you know, to get you off the rock, if I can say that, off that certain planet that you find yourself in and... You know, it's just abuse. That's what it is. The lady's like, you know what? You need, you don't have enough when clearly she had enough. And then she just comes to the realization and you know what? I'm stuck on this rock and I'm not going anywhere. So eventually Kaylee's character agrees. You know what? Let's do this thing. Maybe it's going to be a quick in and out. It's not going to be that bad. So they go up to the space station. That's where the name of the movie comes from. Romulus and... Interestingly enough, the space station is actually split up, Romulus and Remus. So when they get there, you know, it looks like a simple job. It's easy, you know, just get in, do what we need to do, get out there. But then they realize that, you know, the fuel 
in those chambers are not enough. And that's where the problem comes in. We need to go deeper into the spaceship to see what's happening. And already there's this zero gravity element when they reach the spaceship, which makes things very interesting. And as the group progress, they basically, you know, run into face huggers. And this is where things really get interesting. Look, I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step when it comes to the plot, guys. I want you to still enjoy it. But then the one thing that fascinates me the most when it comes to the perfect organism is the fact that every time I see, you know, the origins of a xenomorph, it's just disturbing. It's very disturbing the design is disturbing the way you know the life cycle the process how it it's just insane you know and especially the face hugger you know when a face hugger hooks you know it's game over guys and the perfect organism it's still mind-boggling that you know a creature design that was made so many years ago can still be terrifying one of the biggest criticisms when it comes to the movie is the fact that it follows a similar structure to all the movies. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. You know, people are going to be like, it's not original. It feels like that. But it is original. If you look at the details, compare this to those movies that everybody loves. And it, f it just feels different. You know, it feels different. It looks different so that is a statement that absolutely i don't believe in that you know after watching the movie and you know make up your own mind you know but with that being said guys you know the gang quickly find themselves in a situation where you know like here we go guys it's crazy and one aspect i love about this movie that fede really went into especially when it comes to that whole process of you know, from the face hugger laying the egg and the chest buster. He did it different, you know. And the one scene that stands out for me is, like, how you see the xenomorph actually develop, which is crazy. You know, there's a, there's a section in this particular scene where the part where the xenomorph actually comes out from is against the wall and, you know, the character that finds herself in the scary situation at their current moment, like the slow buildup of how the xenomorph actually comes out, you know. It's like this scene is like, you know, I think Fede went in with the idea of, you know what, like let's make this similar to somebody giving birth, you know. It's like that, you know. It's a metamorphosis. And I feel like the way he managed to pull that off was brilliant. And like... One aspect that I also loved is the fact that it leaned into practical effects as well. You know, like it doesn't feel like VFX takes over too much, you know. Certain scenes, it has to be VFX, but then the areas where you could do the practical effects, he managed to stick to that. And that's that just makes the movie feel organic, you know. And that is what I absolutely love about this movie now and i just want to talk about the third act guys you know before i talk about the other things now there's a particular character on this journey that is pregnant without giving away too much they stumble on the dna of the perfect organism you know it's actually collected in vials she's been attacked and she's lost a lot of blood you know so one of the options is actually injecting herself with the xenomorph dna she ends up doing that. What happens from that sequence all the way up until the end is one of the craziest scenes that I've ever seen, guys. Like, it's absolutely insane. Like, I want to really dive into it, but I don't want to spoil it, guys. Just I just want to let you know that this, this, you know, it changes. It changes a lot. You know, it adds another aspect. It adds another layer to the intrigue of the perfect organism, which I think is absolutely brilliant. I was on the edge of my seat, you know. I was like, what the hell is going on here? But that just took the movie from just being another alien movie and then just took it from here and then just put it here in a bracket all on its own. That is, that is the one standout scene.
for me personally, guys. Now, another aspect that I would say that I don't like about the movie is the fact that there's an element of de-aging and CGI that they use here for a character that you guys will remember from the first movie. It's not him, you know, but he's stylized exactly as a character, Ash, in the original movie. And I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like this is something that doesn't work for me in cinema, the de-aging process and, you know, just cast somebody else. You know, I I understand that they wanted to add another layer of intrigue that reverts back to the original movie. I understand that, but it didn't work that well for me. I've, I feel like they could have just went in a different direction, but that is the one aspect in a movie that I don't like personally. But I understand in terms of the plot and, you know, the organization, the company, that's where it actually makes sense in the big, bigger, in the grander scheme of things of how it actually links into, you know, the biggest story when it comes to the Alien franchise. And let's talk about the acting, guys. Wow. The acting, you know, Kaylee Spaney. Kaylee Spaney is absolutely brilliant in this movie. I think this might actually be my favorite role I've seen her in, you know, I think she was brilliant in Priscilla, it was a subtle, beautiful performance, but I feel like this, this movie might elevate her into action star status, you know, I, I, I hope she doesn't go in that direction, you know, exclusively, because she is a brilliant actress, but this role, she just fits in very well with this role as Rain, you know, it's subtle, but when things really get heated, you know, she has to step up. And alongside Kaylee's performance, you get the performance of David Johnson as Andy. Absolutely brilliant. To play a android, you know, to pull off a role like this and actually make it feel real, make it feel believable. I feel like he might actually be the standout in the movie he absolutely nails this part as andy because there's a certain section as well where they switch a drive you know from the other android and put it into him and then it's a complete personality shift and just to see that duality in how he plays those roles was very very exciting to see and the rest of the cast you know they don't have to do that much but for the grand scheme of things it's it's brilliant and also isabella merced She's going to be talked about a lot after this role, you know, because what happens to her character specifically, she's going to be the talk of a lot of conversation. But the acting is brilliant, guys. I mean, there was a lot of pushback. Yeah, the cast is too young and the casting kids and, you know, like, but it works. Trust me, it works. You know, the cast, excellent. Not going to lie, guys. I have to talk about the cinematography, the production value, set design, you know, VFX. Everything is on point. Visually, guys, visually the movie is absolutely stunning. The movie is beautiful, you know. It pays homage to the original and then Aliens as well. But the color palette, you know, those orange and... I don't know the use of color in this movie, especially temperature and the tone from cold and then those orange moments. Fede, Fede did a masterful job at crafting this movie. And it comes when it comes to the set designs, you know, it looks stunning. It feels like that first movie. And one thing that always stands out for me when it comes to the Alien franchise is the fact that it feels like it's set within realism, you know, it's, it's science fiction, but it feels real. It feels like it was a natural progression for the human race into, you know, technology. It doesn't feel flashy, you know, stylish in it. It feels like space trucking, you know, it feels organic, it feels real. And I feel like that's one of the aspects that has always worked in the favor of Alien. And you definitely get a sense and a feel of that in this movie. You know, it's not too flashy. It's basic, simple. And it actually feels like these characters would be able 
to live and breathe in this world, you know, that they've designed you. And that's absolutely incredible. And the VFX as well. The the switch between practical and VFX is so seamless, you know. At no point you're like, I see, I see what they did there, you know. The only VFX issue that I have is the de-aging of a certain character, you know. That's the only problem that I have. But the other stuff, the xenomorph and all those other things, they work very well. And it's a gorgeous movie, you know. I, I don't know on what this was shot. But visually, it's it's stunning, you know, especially the the space sequences where you see the open space and the spaceship. And, you know, there's a sequence at the end where Kaylee Spaney's character, Rain, you know, press the, presses the eject button, you know, release button. And that scene just took my breath away. That was absolutely stunning, you know. It feels like you are in space when you're watching this. And like the zero gravity effect as well, that just adds another layer of intrigue to the movie. And sound design, guys, you know, this is a horror movie after all. So sound design is an integral part of the movie. And it's absolutely brilliant, you know, like it knows when to go quiet and just makes you focus on a certain aspect. And when things kick into gear, they just amp it up. It's brilliant. You know, there's so many elements here that just works together. Basically, this is a action horror movie. It's it's a stunning movie, guys. I'm not going to lie. I am very impressed by this movie. I, I love this movie, guys. This is one of the best movies that I've watched this year. I'm not going to lie. Not just because I'm a massive fan of Alien, but the fact that the hard work and the thought process and the story and, you know, everything has been done here with, has been done meticulously with precision. You know, there's a lot of effort that was put into this movie and it's absolutely breathtaking what they managed to achieve with Alien Romulus, guys. I'm not going to lie. And when it comes to a rating, this is a four out of five for me, guys. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. It's brilliant, guys. I can't wait to see where the franchise goes next from here, guys. You know, this this just made me so excited as an as an alien fan, you know, to know that the franchise is in somebody somebody's hands that's very capable of achieving greatness. And Fede is that guy, man. You know, this is this is a combination of Evil Dead, you know, Don't Breathe. It's Don't Breathe in Space, but done, you know. I can't believe that this movie was going to come out on streaming, guys. This is crazy. This belongs on the big screen. This is cinema. I'm sure when Ridley Scott watched this, he was like, you know what? This is, this is incredible, you know, not even... Okay, you know, Ridley Scott is like that. He'd be like, I could have done this better, you know, and uh, it's I would have done a brilliant job. I know. I'm a great filmmaker, you know, but I'm sure when he saw this, he was like he was blown away. Even James Cameron when he sees this movie will be like, Wow. They really went for it now. And like in the grand scheme of things, like in the bigger picture, you guys will have to watch that, you know. I don't wanna give away too much when it comes to the law and all those other things and it's a brilliant brilliant movie guys i was absolutely blown away by this movie terrifying absolutely terrifying and look guys there's a lot of nightmare fuel in here you know certain things will get under your skin and <laughs> that's just you know it's just part of the franchise but yeah it's done very well and it's done in good taste you know but just be warned i'm giving you a heads up you might not be able to sleep at night some of the things will freak you out especially in the third act the third act i was like oh boy they're really going for it and they took it there they actually went there no hesitation which is insane and brilliant movie guys you know 
Please let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about Alien Romulus. I think it's a brilliant movie. You know, I was absolutely blown away by this movie. I'm not going to lie, guys. Masterfully crafted by Fede. Fede deserves a lot of credit for this, you know. I'll have my Alien review down below and Aliens as well. You know, I just rewatched those two movies before this came out. Just, you know, those are my two favorites. But I think this one comes in at third. It's a difficult one, you know. But then I feel like I'll have to do an alien ranking video, guys. You know, just to rank all these ones after this one now. But I really enjoy this one, guys. Great experience. Let me know down below what you guys think about this one. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. That's it for me. Catch you on the next video.